sometimes you want to be able to show more information about a row than you could possibly fit in the row itself. In my case, I want to show the address information for a selected person. The way I do that is by first creating a custom element for the row itself, where I show the address information based on a property that I'm going to bind to. So the first thing we need to do is define a row details generator for our grid. The row details generator is a function that gets in the index of the row. In the generator, we first need to create an element that we want to get shown, in our case, the address row. We then want to get hold of the item for that row so that we can get the address information from it. To do that, we're going to call get item on grid. Get item takes in two parameters, the row index and a callback function. So in case there are no errors, we're able to get the address information from the selected item and bind that to the address property on our address row. Finally, we need to return the address row from our function. So if we run this right now, you can see that nothing is still happening when we click on rows. That's because we haven't listened for the actual selection event. So what I'm doing right here is I'm keeping track of which uh, row details I'm showing at the moment. That way I can always hide the previous row details when I'm showing the next row details. So if we run this right now, you can see that when we click on a row, we get the address information. And when we click on a different person, the previous person's address details get hidden.